Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sean from CheckDoorWells.com. YouTube comes to St. Pete, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the installation of the Ring Video Doorbell. Um, basically, I just want to show you guys what I had to do to get everything set up. Um, this isn't a review or anything like that, but I just finally got it set up, so I figured I'd give you guys an update from the unboxing that I um, just recently uploaded. So, basically, this is just the packaging. Um, I'll show you step one, which was setting up the ring to my existing mechanical chime. Um, it has an uh, uh, excuse me. It has an included. Um, let's see if it shows it. It's an included. Uh, I believe it's an amplifier um, that you're supposed to connect to your um, existing um, to your existing chime if you already have one. So that way, uh, when someone rings the bell, you'll still be able to receive uh, the notification. So let me go show you that real quick. So this is my chime. Um, it's a mechanical chime, as you can see if I touch the top of it. You can hear it. it's making that little uh, ring uh, doorbell noise. Um, so basically what they do is they include this uh, little adapter here. Um, I believe it's either a power supply, uh, supplies power, or also wirelessly connects to the ring, uh, your actual doorbell itself, or both. Um, so basically what you have to do is normally um, there's wires connected to these uh, two. You'll have one that says uh, trans and one that says front. Um, you might have one that says rear, but that's not really, um, you don't really need to use that one. So if you do have one that says rear, um, I'm assuming that's if you have a rear doorbell. Um, actually, actually, I'm not sure to be honest with you. <laughs> but the main two you're going to want to focus on is front and trans. So basically, um, it comes with this little clip. Um, so basically you clip this clip in and it gives you the into this, uh, this little adapter piece here and it gives you the black and white wires. Um, what you do with the black and white wires is you take these little uh, plastic prongs and you flip the orange, these little orange, these two little orange uh, clips up. Um, they're pretty hard to they're pretty hard to open up so you might feel like you're breaking up but usually it's pretty easy to get them up. Um, so don't worry about that. And then basically you unscrew these bolts and put the existing wires that you have um, in one of them. So you'll take, let's say you do trans first, you'll take the existing wire from trans, throw it in there, and then you'll take um, the non, the ones, so th this will come out in two ends, the white or the black wire. For example, the white one comes out in two ends, one with this blue thing on it, and then one that's pure white um, cable. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to put the pure white cable inside one of these prongs. Um, you can see the black one being run here. Um, so for example, the black one's being run here and I put the black one with the brown tip on the existing uh, screw. Screw them in. Um, one problem that I ran into it was that they weren't tight enough. So definitely make sure that they're tight enough um, because it wasn't supplying power to my doorbell so my doorbell wasn't working at all. So I was trying to figure that out for the past few days and I just figured out I basically just didn't tighten the uh, trans one actually tight enough. Um, you can turn the power off if you want um, but there's some they're low voltage on your doorbell so you shouldn't be too bad. You might feel a little ting or something if you get shocked but it won't be anything too bad. Um, so if you want to leave the power on, you can definitely do that. Um, however, I would recommend if you can turn the power off. Um, and then they also give you a little side of two, um, two sided adhesive uh, material there to stick the chime on the side of your existing doorbell. Um, some, sometimes all these parts might not fit in your existing uh, chime, excuse me. Um, so if it doesn't, you can always attach it to the wall. Um, so that way you can get the casing over it. Um, my screw is actually coming out here, so I just need to fix this up. And then uh, basically, this is a setup that you'll have to do. It's probably one of the harder parts. Um, it's basically two steps. So like I said, make sure that these bolts are super tight or else you won't be supplying it with enough power to turn on and then you won't really know what's going on. Um, so that's the main thing I would say is make sure that everything's wired here correctly. If, it's, if the doorbell isn't working, that's usually the problem. So next I'm going to show you guys the actual doorbell itself. So this is the doorbell itself. Uh, it's not too difficult to get set up. 
Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is first um, unscrew your existing doorbell. If it's powered, which uh, you're going to need powered for the Pro, um, basically what you're going to want to do is take that one off, and there should be two wires coming out of it. Very simple. Um, attach those two wires to the two screws on the back of this. Very similar to what you did with your chime, if you have a mechanical chime. Um, and then that's essentially how you're going to be able to power the, the doorbell. Um, it should light up after that. Um, the only th other thing that might be a little bit difficult is, uh, as you can see here, I had to actually drill a hole in the um, concrete, um, which they include an included drill bit, so just make sure that you have a powerful enough drill to drill through your concrete. And then they also do include um, some washers for you, so that way you can kind of plug in the hole. You can see at the top, um, that little white area. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Um, is the washer so I put that in the hole and then put the screws on the top and the bottom in there um, If you guys can notice it is black um, the reason why is because I haven't put any face plates on it um, The face plates actually take a proprietary screw that screws into the bottom of it um, Which is a good thing to make sure it doesn't get stolen because it covers up the other two screws that you need to screw out the doorbell So because of that um, with, if you have the washers, excuse me, if you have the face plate on um, someone would have to have that screwdriver that's provided directly from Ring to get into it. Um, unfortunately, I actually ended up losing mine, so I contacted support and they said that they'll send me out a free replacement within 10 days. Um, so that is the only way to get the faceplate off and on. And without the faceplate um, being on, excuse me, with the faceplate being on, you have access, you can't access these two screws to take it off, so that's why it's supposed to be pretty, pretty good as an anti-theft uh, device. Um, so basically after that, this light should light up, um, ensuring that you have power to it, so you pretty much did everything right, hopefully, if, if that works out. Then just hit this button on the side here, um, and then it'll start connecting to you go through the app the app actually has a video showing you how to set it up in it um, when you click on whichever doorbell you're trying to set up and it'll walk you through very similar to kind of like how I did it uh, except a little bit more in depth and um, and then your device will need to connect briefly to this Wi to its Wi-Fi network using Wi-Fi direct so that way it'll establish a connection with whatever Wi-Fi network you choose from the list and then you'll be able to get that uh, set up and connected to the internet. Then when you click it, you'll hear that. And then I don't know if you guys heard on the other end, but basically it rung my uh, physical doorbell. Then if you click on that, basically what'll happen is it'll pull this uh, list up for you. And uh, which will in turn set up a uh, feed of your um, whoever's at the door. So you can talk and you can talk to them. Now you can hear what's going on and then you can mute the audio by clicking this button or you could mute your own audio that you're saying to the doorbell by clicking that button. Um, so anyway, setup process pretty easy. Um, definitely would think that you should be able to do it on your own. Uh, if you have a decent amount of experience with doing stuff like this, it should take between five and 10 minutes. Um, if you're pretty novice, it could take you a little bit longer. I'd say set aside no more than 40, maybe 45 minutes um, to set it up. Um, and that's if you run into difficulties. Um, but all that should include app setup and everything. So you should be good out the door. Anyways, guys, this is me, Sean from TechJotos.com, YouTube.com, so MP, and this is my, uh, I guess, hands-on setup of the Ring Doorbell.